Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back, y'all! Today we're continuing our Ghostbusters Ecto-1 build, issue 34, stage 128. Uh, what say we just take a look at the parts and get right into it? All right, y'all, we have a lot of parts this go around. We have the light bar base. We have light bar supports left and right. We have light bar foots left and right. We have light bar foot supports left and right. We've got four rotators. We got gear cover left, gear cover right. We've got uh, gear one, four of them, four gear twos, two gear threes. Uh, we've got two motors. That's these things. That's pretty cool. And interestingly enough, some lubricating oil this time. Not sure how they intend for us to apply it, but we'll figure it out. Along with a bunch of screws. Now something interesting to note, when you look at these bases, they do have an L and an R on them. Um, the feet, much harder to read it's i don't even know if i can get it to show up on camera but it's right here on both there's an l and an r but these the uh foot support i cannot find any indication as to which is which so that's going to be interesting trying to figure that out uh, these, on the other hand, uh, giant L, giant R, so very easy to make that determination. Okay, we're going to kick things off by putting the gears into the light bar base here. Now the way the instructions tell us to do this is to place the gears in first, like this. Um, yeah, just like this, so that, uh, I don't know how well that's showing up, but we've got two of the large gears and two of the small gear, or I should say medium gears, I guess, and two of the small gears. You can see that they all rotate appropriately. And then we're supposed to take a Q-tip dip it into the oil, and rub it around all the gears. That seems, to me, like a good way to make sure you miss some spots. So what I'm gonna do instead, I use our Q-tip method. We'll see how well that works. It's not typically how I would do something like this, but we're gonna get into the gears while they're still here outside and then place them. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. All the gears nice and oiled. Should note on the uh, larger or medium ones here, make sure that the screw posts are facing up when you put that in there. So everything is effectively resting on the base of the light bar. And now we're gonna go ahead and take the gear cover here, the left one. We're gonna basically place it like this. You can see there are five screw holes and we're gonna be using EP screws to hold it in place. All right, it should look a little something like that when you're done. And it's a... Uh, Difficult to really get in there. Um, Cause you know, they've covered all the gears, but you're just kind of rubbing along the side here. It does look like we are good. Everything seems to be turning just fine. So we seem to be good there. And now we get to repeat all of that right here.
Look at that. Awesome. Okay, it's also worth noting that the screw holes that are in there, if you want any kind of a, oh, I don't know if that was showing up on camera, the screw holes that are in the gears here, if you want any kind of alignment, you're gonna wanna make sure that you line them up during that initial first stage. Right now, what we're gonna be doing is taking uh, these rotators here and they're going to screw into those screw holes. You can see there are two screw holes in the base. Just line them up and uh, we'll use BP screws to hold them in place. I'm gonna do that for all four. All right, there you go. There you go, look at that. Now I'm gonna try and keep these as lined up as possible for the rest of the build. We'll see how well that goes. All right, for this next bit, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over this way. Flip it on the short side so that left is still left and right is still right. And then you've got your little, um, what are these called? Uh, da -da -da. The light bar supports, that's all they're called, light bar support. So, and like I said, use the L for the left and it's gonna go on just like this. Ah. Okay, maybe not like that, but there you go. Just like this. Again, the nice big hole there. We're gonna use um, EP screws to hold it in place, and then we'll do the same for the right. Look at that. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's see what's next. All right, next up, we're gonna take these two big gears here. Let's go ahead and lube them up a little bit. And then they're gonna go onto these two posts. Now the big gears actually have little gears on the underside. Make sure those little gears interact with the gear that's hidden inside there. Um, so we get some good rotation going. All right, should look a little something like that. And now we're gonna take the motors here. They're tiny little motors. Make sure that the uh, wiring is loose like this. You wanna lube up the gold part here. And then you just wanna set it down in here so that these line up with the gears on there. Now, unfortunately, there's no way in this stage to affix these gears in here. So that'll probably have to come in the next stage. But for now, we'll lube up the, uh, the motors and get them in place. And there you go. It's about as good as it's gonna get. Um, sadly, that's it for this part of the stage. We do have one more thing we gotta do before we're done here. So let's just get into it. Okay, for the next bit, we're gonna take the light bar foot and the light bar foot sport, and we're gonna put them together. I finally figured out how to tell which is which on this. Uh, effectively, they're gonna go together like this, and we're gonna put a little screw in there. But, if you just hold it in place and then you look at it like this, this end is angled. Make sure it's got the same angle as the other supports on the foot. If it does, then you got it right. And we'll use a GP screw to hold it in place. Should look like that. And now you do the same for the other. Oh. Look at that. Now we gotta bring out the big boy. All right, and for some final touches, we're gonna take these feet, we're gonna attach them to the roof of the car. You can see there are spaces here and over here for exactly that. 
Make sure that the downward angle on this is correct, or you can just look on the front. Uh, right in here, this is left, so that would be driver's side. And the right one will go here. Just like that. Looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna use two VM screws each to hold it in place. Okay, and there you have it. Both supports fully in place, ready to rock and roll. And the light bar itself, we're not gonna attach it right now, but I'm guessing it's gonna sit like right about here, give or take. And man, that's gonna be awesome when that's done. I can't wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the end of this stage and therefore the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.